friends. I'm back with another puzzle um, today. And today we're going to talk about the kind of holiday celebration um, that they um, celebrate in Mexico and many of our Spanish-speaking friends celebrate. And it's called Los Posadas. And um, we'll look, I'll read a story today too to help you better understand their celebration. And the puzzle I have today has some people, Mexican people in it, and how they have, wear bright colored clothes and use bright colored decorations. This puzzle isn't specific to Los Posadas, but it's specific to Mexican people and celebrating. So they also get together with their families. And a lot of times this guy here, he's playing music, right? So they have music that they use to help celebrate. And, um, these ladies will do dances. Let me put the mix. This is the flag up there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And see this guy? They wear special hats too. It's called a sombrero. And he's dancing. These are his legs. And the ladies dance and they swing their colorful skirts around. Put the building in here so that they can I think it's, I can get the piece in there. There we go. So their skirts are long and flowy so that they can swing them around and they swish around all pretty. If I can figure out. <laughs> there we go. Her skirt's so big. See how big it is? And she's got it swishing around there. Um, so they, they celebrate Los Posadas for their um, kind of holiday celebration. And I'm gonna send a link to you. But they have special foods, they have special decorations, they use lots of bright colors, lots of reds, greens, yellows to decorate for Los Posadas. And they have special games they play. They, they play a pinata game um, for Los Posadas. Just like we talked about with Hanukkah, they played the little spinning the dreidel game, right? And, um, and um, they they have a star that is their pinata that they use. So we'll talk more about that in the next video and um, in our story video. Okay, so the story is this one. See this little girl? It says, Twas Noche Buena. Noche Buena. Have you ever heard that word before? That's a Spanish word. Remember when we were singing Bienvenidas to school today? That was a Spanish word for welcome. Buena no, noche buena means good night. All right, so twas buena noche. Let me scoot back here so you can see the book a little better. Here we go. Twas buena noche. A Christmas Story by Roseanne Thong, illustrated by Sarah Palacios. So if you guys know about Dora and Diego, they're Spanish speaking and they try to teach Spanish words too. Okay. Twas Noche Buena. And all through our casa, casa is another word for house. Every creature was needing tamale masa. So that's one of the special foods they have. One of our holiday traditions is making tamales. Not one, but montones. And every last person, both chicas and chicos, is needed to make our ta tamales taste ricos. We stuff them with pollo and queso and meat and steam them in corn husk. And leaves. What a treat. So they're all working together, aren't they? To make the tamales for their celebration. Oh, they have a Christmas tree too. Our lovely tree adornes are hung up with cheer in hopes that amigos soon will be here. Small figures of wise men. Look, they're setting up the wise men right there. And sheep, a tiny clay camel where baby can sleep. In the corner, an arbol that's covered with bells. So, arbol is tree. 
that has twinkling lights, ribbons, and shells. When our guests all arrive, we stroll down to the park and join the Posadas that starts when it's dark. So Posadas is a net word they use for parade. When homemade parolis that glow in the night will sing canciones by soft candlelight. So they're not going to sing songs. Do we sing songs celebrating Christmas? Do you sing songs? So do they in those songs. From Casa Cook to Casa Parading We Go. So that means from house to house. Remembering stories from long ago. La Pito Posoto is our humble plea. Can you please offer us sh shelter, we ask hopefully. The two first two houses do not agree, but the very last house says, always says, si, which means yes in Spanish. Then back to our family, Casa Fiesta, we race to snuggle up close by the brick fireplace. And we treat all our shivering guests to warm mugs of chocolatey. And it says, Chumperito? I hope I'm saying that right. It looks like hot chocolate, huh? Yum. Do you like hot chocolate? And right up here on the wall, they have this Feliz Navidad. That means Merry Christmas in Spanish. I'll send you a song too of Feliz Navidad. We click our, clink our glass marbles and play Loteria while singing and laughing. Que Marvelia. When out in the yard and I hear such a clatter, I spring and shout, what's the matter? So they're playing a little game down there too. Marbles. The children are cheering below a great star. Remember I told you that their pinata is a big star? So they use the star in their decorations and in their games and in the other kinds of holiday celebrations we've been talking about. They also used stars, didn't they? Come Sonia, come Alma, Louis, and Martin. It's time for our favorite game to begin. Dale, dale, hit it, they cry. Uno, dos, tres. Now it's your try. A shower of candy soon falls down. We chase after gum and sweet Carmela. So it means caramel, right? Have you ever played with a piñata before? Then off in the distance we hear chimes that tells us it's nearly time for Misa de Gallo, our mass that's late at night with candles aglow. It's a beautiful sight. So there's candles. So they use candles. Can you tell where they're at? They're at a Christmas Eve service at a church. Does your family have that tradition? to go to church on Christmas Eve. <clears throat> we sing our favorite constant canciones, which is Christmas carols, and choirs of angels up in the balcony. And when it's over, we get a surprise. A colorful firework paints the sky. So they have fireworks at their Los Posadas, or their Christmas celebration. <clears throat> then back to our house, we happily run. Oh, look, they're having a big feast. They're getting together with their family. Another tradition in their kind of holiday. We know it's finally begun with pots full of grandma's steaming pozole and sauce for our turkey. We call it mole. And just when we've eaten as much as we can, we hear a loud sizzle from grandmother's pan. The children all cheer as they wait for the treat. Bun Bunoles, I think, was cinnamon sugar. So sweet. So look. They look kind of like a tortilla, fried flour, and it has cinnamon and sugar on it. It's another special food they have. <clears throat> With satisfied bellies and sleepy eyes, we head 
to for one last surprise. Giggling and cheering, we dash for the tree where regalos are waiting, which is presents. So they get presents too during their celebration. They're waiting for you and Penny. We open cards that we've chosen with care as long strands of cinta fly out everywhere. A smile from Poppy, a kiss from a friend, and many abrazos that don't seem to end. Now our friends are all tired from the fun and fiesta. So fiesta is what they call a party. It's time to go home for a long night siesta. That's what they mean. Rest to sleep. Merry Christmas, they cheer as they head out of sight. Feliz Navidad to all and to all a good night. Yeah. Can you say Feliz Navidad? Say it with me. Feliz Navidad. It means Merry Christmas in Spanish. Bye. I'll see you at circle time.